Some stuff to do before you farm. So what you do is that you press, uh, play the playlist, and um, I will be in the background while you farm. So we farm all together. So let's get to it. So um, I just teleported to the old campus, which you're not supposed to do because there's no diamonds there to collect. And we go to the new campus. That's where real diamond farming has been introduced. And I am literally so excited for the new school, guys. What about you? So while we are farming, I will be just chin-chatting, answering some questions, and stuff like that. Sharing stuff about me and a whole bunch of fun stuff. If you have any questions for me, um, I can do a Q&A uh, maybe in next week or so. So I can just enter, uh, enter, answer a couple of your questions that you'd like to ask about. So... Um, so make sure there's some cool tricks that you'd like to do. My friend Anna, this is one of her tricks and I have been using it for a long time. I usually farm at night um, while I listen to a show or listen to a movie or listen to my favorite YouTubers such as Leah Ash, IA Gamer Girl, Cybernova, The Queen of Aliens, all of my favorite YouTubers. I put them in the background while I farm. So I want to make a little playlist for you guys. And a cool trick is just to have chips, have your YouTubers in the background, have a blanket, sit down on your laptop, on your iPad, whatever device you're on, and farm. It's the best way to stay relaxed, watch a show, and it's just a fun way. And uh, by gaining diamonds at the same time. So a cool trick, uh, well it's not really a trick, it's just a hack, is that don't put too many like flashy items such as the large train bow, halos and all that. It just gets in the way while you're farming. My friend Anna literally just wears her avatar and when she plays she puts on all of her stuff. So I literally put, literally, literally, literally put really simple items such as Thigh High, Princess Ice Boots, Dear Dolly, a skirt, and my Shadow Umbrace corset and a really simple hairdo which does not get in the way while I farm. And yeah. And there's, um, you can also farm in your Bunny T-Squad outfit. I have just released a couple of new merch. So we have some a new schoolgirl look and uh, a mermaid look, a uh, black tee. Um, and we just released, released a, new, um, a new cheer outfit. So it has the shorts and a nice top to go with it. So at around 6 o'clock is where light starts to come. And that's usually when I like to farm. So, like, since I'm recording, um, it kind of bugs for me, so I'm just going to be chit-chatting while I film. So, there's some cool spots, like, if you go up a bit and you see a tent and a pink diamond, you are at one of the big jackpots right here. So, right here, you collect the pink diamond, and then you go to the tent and you see a red diamond. That usually counts as 20 diamonds or 120 when you are farming. So, um, and then you can look at some trees. These diamonds are on top of there. And um, also, there's this fort at the, like, at the end of the realm. Oh, so cute. My cat is just playing with a bottle cap. <laughs> there we go. Um, I do have pets. I do have little two kitties. They're super cute. Do you have any pets, guys? Oh. Uh, my so me and my sister have, both have cats so my cat's name is friday because she is a black cat because friday the 13th i don't believe in the superstition i just found it was a really cool name and original and then my sister she named her cat he's a tuxedo finnick um because uh she was it like on a she loved hunger games at the time and she wanted to name him finnick odair so his name is finnick right now and that's the little cat that was playing with the bottle cap so yeah that's Finnick Boozle. Um, we like to call our cats Boozles. It's a little cute nickname that we like to have for them. Um, what are cute nicknames that you like to give your pets? So right now, um, this there's like the, to the entrance of the school. There's these like kind of farts, and there's a hedge like plus like three diamonds, and it's they're really close together, so it gives you such a good advantage. Um, especially do classes. Uh, one of my cool tricks to do is that I like to do the full day of school but farm in between classes at lunchtime and farm just like two minutes after um, 
after school ended. I don't really like to farm at night. It just gives me the creeps because I'm in a server all by myself. Um, I don't know why. I'm just scared of being in a server all by myself at, at when it's darker. Um, so yeah, and there's a bunch of diamonds in the principal's office. And I like to go to PE because it is a class and also has tons of diamonds to do. And um, I like to do PE because like... If you, especially if, have, if you have the multipliers, it gives you plus like at least 300 diamonds. And I like to put my speed, if you have the speed fly pass, I like to put it at around 100, not like the max, because it just goes a bit too fast and I can collect all my diamonds. So there's like yellow diamonds in the beginning of the track, which is also a good thing to pick up. I like just to pick up one. And like you can go into first person mode it just gives me kind of a headache um but i like to go like where you can see your character and the like the serene around it it just makes me look at all the diamond possibilities so um there's a whole bunch of diamonds that way while you are farming um so yeah it's cool so while we are talking about the classes of Royal High, um, I'm going to be uh, telling you my favorite school subject. So I love to write, and that's my favorite subject. So ooh, it's just bugging here. So my favorite subject is writing because I love writing, and I am I have I haven't I have been uh, deciding and not deciding to post a video of me writing a little class for Royal High. Just an idea for uh, Johnny Johnny Solite. If you do not follow him on Twitter, you should go follow him right now. He's making the pirate set. It's so cute. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be posted. There has been like hesitations of I don't know. Like there's like a whole bunch of stuff going on, but I really hope it gets into the game because it's so gorgeous and. Um, if you realize while you're at PE, there's a little fountain at the beginning of the game. I mean, at the beginning of the diamond path. And there's a, like a little like waterfall and stuff. I posted a video of my diamond farming routine and it was in there. And there's a green diamond and like four blue diamonds that has a whole bunch that like that equals for me about 100 diamonds since I have all the multipliers. Like I like mo like the stuff that I really consider getting is multipliers in the flight speed pass. That is like the main kit that I think you should get. Like I didn't get like the um, the hair pass until like I think like three weeks ago. You know, like it it is an a necessity, but it is cute on your avatar. So and it's really cheap too, and a really cool sticker pack to get as well, uh, which is a sticker pack. So I'm just going to go to swimming and there's a new glitch like it hasn't been that new but it's been like a month and they haven't fixed it probably because they're going to release the new school very soon. They don't want to fix a whole bunch of problems in this school. So um, you can fly in swimming class so you don't have to jump. You can just sit there and relax or you can just fly around collecting diamonds and you're still at swimming class and getting your grades done. Um, also Barbie, I saw a tweet this morning. Um, I don't remember um i think barbie i think it was barbie confirming that the new school would come in september like the start of the new school year which i'm super excited about because that's just like after summer and summer is is like it isn't almost done but it is starting so it's not gonna be that fun uh, that fun it's not gonna be that far away and a cool place that I like to go to is art class. You're like, where is all the diamonds in art class? Well, as you can see, there's windows and there's a whole bunch of diamond spots in there. So, um, a whole bunch of diamond spots in there and like a way to get in is actually by having this speed pass because you need like speed to get through the window and I have to reset now because uh, I was in first person mode to get in the window and my grades popped up and um, I can't click the S X of the grades so yep oh and my favorite class in um, Royal High is definitely computer class I might have mentioned that in my diamond farming video it's just because I type fast and it matters like how many um, letters you type in the like the 40 seconds or whatever it is gives you um, how many um, XP you get. So usually I get to 60 to 70 letters and I get 60 to 70 PC, uh, uh, XP, not a PC. So um, I'm just gonna 
do some facts about uh, me playing. So, um, I play on a MacBook Air. I, I saved up all my money for it, and it was so worth it. I love having the laptop. Uh, it's I really like playing on a laptop. I just find it more easy for me. I've tried playing on mobile. It's just because I'm so used to uh, playing on my laptop that it's just harder. So. Uh, for me. Do you guys play on mobile or on uh, PC or on uh, Mac? Comment down below. So, yeah. So right now I'm just doing computer class and I really hope it doesn't bug like in my farming video where I couldn't type at all. So, come on, H, A. So I'm putting, uh, so as you saw in the beginning of the video, I'm putting on some nice music for you guys and i'm going to be posting a couple videos like this for a playlist so while you farm like for a couple of hours you can listen to me and some nice farming tricks so i got 60 points right there so i got 60 xp and i just leveled up and the cool thing once you have the multipliers it multiplies how much you gain after you level up so once you have both of the multipliers, you gain 100, 1,800 diamonds. And when you have no multipliers, it gives you 300 diamonds. So like, I literally consider like, I the game passes that I preferably pick would probably be the multipliers and the speed pass because I farm a lot. So yeah. So um, I have a sister, if you did not watch my past video of my sister controls my account on Royal High. And um, I got a lot of comments that she actually did quite well for a beginner. And I think so as well while I was editing. Uh, she actually needed a bit of help, and but she didn't want it. So I had to watch her play. Um, and she is, um, she is, uh, 17 months older than me and we do fight a lot but we always make up and it's we always hug and uh, we always say sorry so that's a good part and i love her very much so do you have any siblings uh because i only have my sister kate and also have a half brother his name is everest he's so cute and he loves playing video games just like me. He likes to play Nintendo um, Mario. He likes to play a lot of Mario Kart and all that. And uh, I like playing with him. It's quite fun because he's a bit younger than me. So I can like battle him to the death in Mario games. And it's super fun. So he doesn't get that mad at me. Unless I really defeat him. So right now um, I can't really glitch back. So oh my god I'm falling. Ah! Reset. Reset. So once you get through like the... Once you get through the barrier, the glass barrier of the art classroom, um, you just have to reset to uh, get out of the room because sometimes it doesn't work at all. And guys, um, you probably noticed this in my videos, but I did get the Shadow Empress corset, which has been my dream corset for a while now, and I'm so happy. And um, yeah, so ah, I'm really bugging right now. Like my friend one time, uh, Wolfie Girl, she um, is so nice. She, she has a gotcha channel if you want to go subscribe to her. Um, anyways, she was doing an offer for a parasol and the girl accepted. And it was so sad because her iPad was bugging so hard. And right when she was going to hit accept, it didn't accept. So sad, you know? I have like so many trades that I wanted to do and people accepted. But my laptop was just bugging so badly, you know? Like... Today, I was going to trade for the Winter Crystal Halo 2020 for, like, my magical broomstick, my corset and stuff, and I forgot to friend them, so I couldn't get it. Things you do. Well, I'll get another Halo later, so I literally, like, why am I bugging really hard? Um, a good thing to do after you farm, um, you could go to... Um, your apartment or your um the beach house you can go sleep and it makes you level up as well so yeah if you have any video ideas you'd like me to do comment them down below and i might do them so just comment down below and i am planning on doing some collabs in the future with other youtubers so just wait for those and um my least favorite class in Royal high is definitely baking um I used to love it in the beginning of me playing because I get to give cupcakes to everybody. But now, uh, for me, it's just 
because for me it's kind of useless because you have to eat all those cupcakes and stay with the wrappers so wrappers like uh, I can't rap guys I can't rap at all I can sing though hard for me to say but you do 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 Ooh, I have an idea. I should like sing, um, not sing, I mean, I could do like um, recreating Disney princesses uh, in outfits in Royal High. Wouldn't that be fun, bunnies? Comment them down below. I wanted to do that like in the beginning of uh, my YouTube channel, but I never got to do it. I think it's just because it was bugging so hard. I think that's why, but so yeah. And thank you guys so much. We're almost at 120 subscribers. We grew so fast because of you. And this journey has been incredible. And I have met a lot of you at Royal Con. And I am having, like, I'm trying to make a game so you can all meet me and take screenshots with me. Um, but right now, um, I just don't know how to code or anything like that. So I have to watch some YouTube videos about it. Um, some cool diamond farming spots also is that at the pool, like I'm literally bugging so hard because it's like, mm. so a cool uh, secret spot in the swimming pool is that you see the seashells. Um, well, um, if you go in between them, there's diamonds. Um, so, and some of them have multipliers, like, like they're like five or stuff like that. So yeah. So do you have any secret diamond, diamond farming spots that you'd like to share? Um, cause I think I discovered a lot of them from the school, but if you have any from other realms that I have not known, please comment them down below for other farming videos. Um, and also this nice, uh, farming spot in Pop the Bubbles. Pop the Bubbles is also very good because you get diamonds from them. And the real reason they're there is so you don't AFK farm, which is like, mostly Sunset Island they added it because of Sunset Island because lots of people would just stand there and put on a nice outfit and they would win like AFK farming like so AFK farming is when you dress up all pretty and uh, makes people want to vote for you at Sunset Island and you're actually not playing you're just your avatars there so it's just technically you're not playing the real game and you're just gaining XP to level up in diamonds. So it doesn't matter if you win or not because you still get diamonds and you know, like that's AFK farming and that's why they added pop the bubble. So if you don't do pop the bubbles in under like, I think five minutes, you'll get kicked out of the server because you were not playing the game. I, that was the real reason. Barbie said that on her stream, I think. And I'm so excited for the new school and like I am gonna be if the stables in the new schools guys You know what I'm gonna do. I'm going straight to that. You know it and I'm gonna see if there's Pegasus or <gasps> In PE they should add like an animal thing where you would be on a Pegasus and you'd fly through the diamonds and all that and so if you don't know what AFK means, because I was talking about AFK farming, AFK farming means away from keyboard. So you're technically not playing the game, you're somewhere else, but your laptop is running and your avatar is in it. And people were able to do that in the beginning of Sunset Island, but they added pop the bubbles like a couple months ago because they didn't want people to just AFK farm and get stuff without earning it truly, you know? So that's AFK farming, away from keyboard. So yeah. While I'm doing this, I have so many ideas for new videos, guys. So, like, I should have, like, a schedule on what videos to do and stuff. And if you have any ideas of videos, like I said in the beginning of this video, comment down, be comment down below. And I also have a Roblox group, if you did not know yet. It's called the Bunny T-Squad. The link will be in the description. And we just made a new cheerleader outfit for the new school because, um... You know, the, there's this um, this uh, uh, girl on Twitter that made um, this Valkyrie, because that's what we are called when we enter the new school, if you're a part of the sports team, Valkyries. Um, which reminds me kind of like Marvel and stuff. What's your favorite Marvel character? Because the Valkyries in Thor Ragnarok, that is one of my favorite Marvel movies. He's probably one of my favorite characters, Thor, yeah. But anyways, um, Valkyrie, and they created this um, basketball outfit, and it's 
so cute and I uh, I got it and I am gonna link it in the description because I, I think it's so cute and we can maybe do PE together if I do a meet and greet so uh, we did a, we did do um, me and my mom we made a new shirt for the bunny t squad group which is the cheer outfit and it has number one in the back because you are all my number one bunnies and it has uh, the bunny in the front and it's a lilac and white and I think I and it comes with shorts and stuff Oop. and it has these really cute sneakers I don't want to buy diamonds I'm diamond farming right now but um anyways so um I'm just gonna put back my corset on so I don't have the blue avatar thingy on um Ooh, I got Angeloid hair clips. I don't know how to pronounce it. Oh, they're so cute. That's so cute. Okay, now. I'm just going to go get some more diamonds and, yeah. In Enchantix, um, there is good diamond spots. I'm not sure if they're secret, but there's so many beside the dorms. Um... And usually when I went into Enchantix, I usually picked the light dorm or the, well, I usually picked dark, light, or water dorm. I would only pick those. I don't know why. Um, what dorms would you usually pick? Um, so anyways, let's just, let me make up some questions to answer. So, uh... Have you had any other pets than cats? Yes, I have had pet rats. Okay, don't click off this video because you think it's gross yet. It, they're so cute. Um, they're pet rats, so they're domestic, and they're not ugly sewer black rats that you see at Halloween. They are cute, adorable little boozles with big gerbil eyes that just want you to hug them. They're, they're, they're cute, guys. I'll put a picture on the screen of one of my rats right now. There's, there's two kinds of rats that we owned. We owned furry rats. We owned also skinny rats. So skinny rats are furless rats, which they are actually, I find, a bit cuter than hairy rats because their eyes stick out more. They're just so cute. I'll put one on the screen right now. Her name was Vanilla. She um, was one of our cutest rats there. Um, she had, uh, she had three little babies. One was named Dobby after Harry Potter, obviously, because my sister loved Harry Potter as well. She loves a whole bunch of movies. Um, and mine was named Chocolate because she had, um, like little brown marks on her. You know how, like, they have little color marks on cats and stuff? Well, rats have the, exactly the same thing, so I called her Chocolate. And then Vanilla, I just named her Vanilla because I thought it suited her personality and she was so cute. Um, so yeah, I've had the rest. And she was actually, we bought her from the pet store and they're, like, um, we bought her from the pet store and we didn't know that she was pregnant and, um, she gave birth to eight little baby rats, and only three survived, obviously, because not all of them can survive. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot. The uh, My mom just reminded me. The third rat was named Pippi, like Pippi Longstockings, because um, uh, my mom loved Pippi Longstockings, and she was just so cute. That's That was my mom's rat, um, Pippi Longstockings, and uh, she had a broken tail. That means it didn't like grow fully because la rats' tails are so long and scaly, but it's a soft scale, so it's not like snake scales. It's it's really soft and fuzzy, and it like oh yeah. Um, fun fact: a rat's tails are as long as their bodies, and a pippy, her tail is actually as long as her body because she didn't really grow that much since she her tail like kind of like was really small and broke so yeah that's a fun fact about me i did have pet rats i was actually thinking on christmas uh for my present to get uh hmm, a hamster a hamster sorry i forgot my words there like always on monday mornings don't you when you just wake up and forget it's school so anyways i did have pet rats and uh so i did have around 12 rats obviously not the same time uh they're like to take care of them they're quite expensive 
um, but it's totally worth it because you get this really nice bond with them and you get to spend um, at least like a year with them in it. I'm dreaming about my rats. Um, uh, anyways, uh, yes, um, my first rat, I named her a Rippity, uh, which is from Narnia, if you don't know Narnia. I wanted to name her Rippity right in the beginning when I wanted to get a rat, because in the beginning I wanted a hamster. And then my mom told me that hamsters don't remember anything, So and then she told me rats remember their names and stuff, and I found that pretty cool, so I wanted to get rats. And then I remembered that in Narnia, Rippity was a beige rat, and I wanted to get a beige rat and name it Rippity. So she was a female. She was super cute. Then we got her a sister, because rats are actually very lonely if they don't have company. Um, so, yeah, they, I, she, we brought her a little sister, well adopted, a little sister called Casey, Khaleesi Chapta, which was my sister. And then we got another one because my mom wanted one as well because she got attached to both of ours and she named it Finnegan but Finnegan didn't last that long she her time was too short rest in peace Finnegan um she was very nice they were all very nice pets and then we decided to get vanilla then she gave birth and then we decided to get two boys to go with Dobby because Dobby was the only boy that we've ever had ever had so, yeah, and we got him a brother called Wilbur after a Shopkin, because my uh, sister uh, was in love with Shopkins at the time. Um, and uh, my mom was looking at Shopkins' names, and she liked the name. Uh, what was it, Mom? Harvey. Harvey, because it was like a honey tin or something like that, or something like that. And um, I found Wilbur, and I said, this is not a Harvey, this is a Wilbur. And we decided to take him home. He was a very nice pet. He was like um, a grizzly bear. He like likes to be alone, but likes to snuggle up a bit. So that was our, and then we got, because I wanted a boy as well. Uh, and I named him Benjamin Button, Benny, um, for short. And he was kind of like the bully. Um, he didn't, he like, I would say he thought he was, like, kind of like a human. He only liked tiny, hanging out with humans and not with the other rats. He would, like, um, he would, he wouldn't get along very well with other rats. And for my other birthday, I decided to get another skinny rat. I named him Woody at first and then, like, Woody from Toy Story. Lots of movie references for our rats. Um... But I decided not to do that, and I decided to do, actually, um, it was C.H. Lewis. Uh, for So, you know C.S. Lewis, like, his name was uh, Charles Staples Lewis. That was uh, the writer of Narnia. So, Narnia and Rippity. Wow, they're connected. I never made that connection until right now. But anyways, I named him C.H. Lewis because I loved uh, writing and it was my birthday so his name was Chester Happy Lewis for my birthday so yeah that's a little bit of a fun five minute story of me and my rats have you had any like a little critters except cats and if you're wondering my cats did not eat the rats they just died of disease or normal my cats are very loving cats and they wouldn't kill a soul so yeah my cats aren't murdering rat killers Anyways, so um, if you want to learn some more stuff about farming, um, come and join me on my next video, which will probably be played right now because it is a playlist and you pressed play all. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not yet already. And join my Roblox group to show your support and buy my merch for Bunny Pride. And I am going to be doing a collab very soon with other YouTubers. So don't forget to stay tuned and subscribe. Bye-bye!